In this video of JavaScript, we are going to start the iteration statements normally called as loops. In the basic programming, it is a very obvious situation like we come across a thing where we need to execute some set of statements continuously multiple times, probably with the different values. For example, if I want to find the even numbers from 1 to 100, what I need to do is I will have to write the code for checking the even or odd again and again. But rather than writing the same code again and again, I can put this particular code inside a loop which will provide various values means different values from 1 to 100 continuously. And inside the loop, we will check the condition if the number is even, we will print that. So such things can be done by the iteration statements as this is a statement which allows the execution of a particular set of block code multiple times or several times. Whenever you will write a loop, you will have to pass a condition so that until and unless that particular condition is true, the loop will keep on executing and as soon as it is false, the loop will get terminated. For example, as I said, I want to find all the even numbers from 1 to 100. So, it is a condition like the number or the value of i of whichever variable I am using that should be less than or equal to 100. As soon as the value will exceed from the 100, the loop must get terminated. So, this is what it's written here, keeps on executing until a given condition is true. So, Whenever you will start writing these control statements, whether it is the condition statements or iteration statements, logically as per your requirement, you can make them nested to any level. Here is the basic idea how the iteration statements or loop get executed. So here, this is the control flow. There must be a condition. If the condition is true, then we will execute the conditional code and the control will again come to this condition. So unless and until this condition is returning true, this loop will keep on executing. As soon as the condition is false, it will get terminated. If there is any logical error, you may write an infinite loop which will not be able to come out of this iteration. Logically, you can classify the loops in three different types that is for while and do while which we will be discussing in our later videos practically as well but all these loops would be having the similar thing which we discussed right now that it will allow the set of statements to get executed iteratively multiple times so in our next video onwards we'll start with the implementation of them